angels welcome back to unique mystery so angels yes I quit my job I decided to quit my job on Thursday Thursday August the what what was it August the 9th or the 10th it was one of those days but anyway I know it was Thursday but anyway I quit my job guys yes I know I know I've been making uh, videos lately of how bad I didn't want to lose my job and now I'm saying that I quit my job well yeah guys let me explain to you what happened the reason I quit my job was because of the human resources lady. Okay? Her name is Shirley. And basically, Shirley forced me to quit my job because, once again, we all know that I struggle with anxiety and panic attacks okay first of all angels I didn't tell you guys I never told you guys where I worked at but now since I'm not working there anymore then I will tell you where I worked at I worked at Walmart yeah the popular popularest store in America basically okay I worked at Walmart and you know at Walmart people is around constantly you know it's a big place popular place full with customers which can be pretty hard on a person who's struggling with anxiety and panic attacks so back to Shirley on the other hand Shirley didn't obviously care that I struggled with anxiety and panic attacks because I made it known to her what I was struggling with I felt safe to open up at Walmart and let them know what I was struggling with because they have something called a open door policy which means you're supposed to listen to your employees your employees is supposed to feel comfortable coming to you and explaining any type of issues that they're having or struggling with and it's supposed to be your job to help them in any way possible that you can and if one manager doesn't help you're supposed to go to another manager and believe it or not they had like six managers and one head manager now on the other hand human resources is there to protect the people and you know they're supposed to be there for you definitely you know but we had Shirley which was the human resources lady I don't know what else she was because first of all I don't know why she was giving out orders in the first place you work in human resources why are you giving out orders to me why are you worrying about my every move like why are you trying to make my job difficult for me after me even opening up about my anxiety and my panic attacks angels I was having a very hard time at this place not only because of my anxiety and panic attacks but also because like this was the first job I had since my mom passed so for some reason like I used to cry a lot you know like I go to work and I, anytime I think about my mother 
you know, usually, like, I'll find a hiding place and cry. So, along with my anxiety and my panic attacks, <laughs> along with my anxiety and panic attacks, I was also dealing with that issue as well. But anyway, like I said, I brought to Shirley's attention, you know, that I suffer from panic attacks and anxiety. You know, I was thinking, hey, this is Walmart. Okay, and Walmart has this open door, open door policy where you should feel comfortable, you know, and let them know, you know, what issues you're dealing with. So that's what I did. But after I opened up to Shirley about my issues, it seems like things got worse for me there. It seems like she was just harassing me constantly, you know. Like every time she saw me walking, you know, going to do something, she would harass me, asking me questions like, what am I doing? Like, why haven't I done this? Why haven't I done that? Constantly. It was not like one time or two times. I'm talking like every time she saw me. So, it was making me uncomfortable. Like, why are you stopping me every time you see me? Asking me questions. Then asking me in a rude manner. And then, if I'm not done, you keep asking me why. Like, I gotta rush and do certain things, you know. And I'm there for eight hours. And she was trying to embarrass me in front of other um, people like customers, co-workers, etc. Things like that that I did not understand. Now, I will tell you this. Usually, she would have been in trouble, okay? Usually, she would have been in trouble, but something stopped me. I'm going to say God stopped me from doing to her what was on my mind, okay? God stopped me because he wasn't ready for me to go to jail. And he knew I came there in good intentions, with good intentions so I can just work, you know, and be in peace and, you know, do what I have to do. Like, I didn't come there to be harassed. So God did not want me to end up in jail. So God stopped me from doing the things that... I really wanted to do to this woman okay so I'm thankful for that because I don't want to go to jail but anyway yeah that's what she was doing she was basically harassing me you know my whole time there I was in no peace you know and basically like I said this started after I told her about my anxiety I told her about my panic attacks. This basically started afterwards. And she knew exactly what anxiety was because she was on my side. She seemed to be on my side at first and she talked to me about it, but after that, it just went downhill. She started harassing me. So anyway, th on Thursday, she did it again and I had my last straw and that was when I quit my job guys like I'm gonna have more videos about this um, situation and what all happened to me at Walmart because I want to get the word out there like you know I want people to know what type of person this is you know she worked in human resources and she made the time for me there horrible. Nobody struggling with mental illnesses should have to go through something like that after opening up and telling people what they are struggling about. So I don't want anybody to that struggles with any type of mental illnesses to feel like somebody can treat you you know wrong because nobody deserves to be treated wrong so that's why I'm gonna open up about this story and I'm gonna open up more about it because I'm very I'm not happy at all 
with what happens, but I'm going to move on from it. You know, I'm a strong person, so I'm just going to move on from it. But at the same time, I'm going to let it be known. I'm going to let it be known. Um, everything that happened and how Shirley did me when I was working at Walmart. And um, I'm not going to speak too much on certain things because, you know, <laughs> I'm just not. But it's a lot that I do want to tell. And I'll have more videos coming about it. But anyways, so I just wanted to give you guys an update about this job and what was going on. So, yeah. I quit my job on Thursday. Um, I hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day. Um, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up and comment, share, and join Unique Mystery. And I will see you angels soon. Bye angels.